Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be part of my kitting up series. I'm gonna go ahead and kit up a few diamond paintings and see how far I can get. And maybe we'll get to do, I don't know, two, three in this video. So we will start by drawing a number, maybe. If I can get it to open. We have number 200. So I'm gonna go and find that and I will be right back. Okay, so this is my colorful mandala. It's really funny, I just did an unboxing and I called the diamond painting and they're colorful, mon colorful mandala. I'm not very creative when it comes to titles, but that one's totally different, so I got nervous that it's maybe the same one, but this is a bunch of different mandalas. And it is an easy whim. And it does have 35 colors, so this may be the only one that I get to do in this kitting up. I'm going to use my new storage. This has 60. For some reason, this one is so much harder to undo on this side, which is fine. At least I can get it done. Sorry, didn't mean to hit you there. I totally moved my camera too. Okay, so this is my new storage container. It does have 60 in there. It's the square top tic-tac. So it's like a double tic-tac. All right, so this one may be the only one that gets in this video. The last time I had a, I did a Dreamer Designs and it took me 45 minutes to kit it up. So let's just see how much I can get. And my camera ran out, ran, out, ran out of space. So maybe since I cleared off some space, I'll get to do a couple in this one, but we'll see. So um, today is February 23rd. Um, we have a weather day for tomorrow. We got to go home early today and we have a weather day tomorrow. So I do not work tomorrow, which is nice. I will get to maybe do some diamond painting tomorrow because I haven't diamond painted in a couple days. So I'm hoping to maybe get my picture completed tomorrow, but I've been working on. So we're just gonna the thing I love about Easy Whim is the inventory sheets that it, they give you. Because then I can just make my little sticker out of their inventory sheet. I did order a printer cable for my printer, so I do not have to cut canvases anymore. Once I get that in, it should be here after this storm blows over. I think it will be delivered on Friday. So I can actually make copies of the canvas instead of cutting them off. All right, I gotta let my cat in here or she's gonna keep meowing at me. Another reason Dreamer Designs took a long time was because I put it in my lockable craft, my craftmates lockables, and I have to have them in alphabetical order, so I had to, you know, make them be in alphabetical order. 
which took longer. This one I'm able to put it in whatever order and then put them in alphabetical order. All I'm doing right now is putting my sticker on masking tape because it does leave a residue. And from what I understand, the removable sticker, um, sticker paper doesn't leave the residue that these do, but, oh, that's not gonna work. I don't have a removable, so I'm working with what I've got. And it's just a little bit of an extra step to have to put it on masking tape. So, here we go. Um, I will try and talk during this. So, my school district waited till probably, I guess it was about 7.30ish to let us know that we were going to have the day off tomorrow. I'm just happy they didn't wait until 6 o'clock in the morning because we've known this storm was coming for like a week. Um, so I get to party all night and sleep in in the morning and enjoy my day tomorrow and my son will be home with me. I work in a different school district than he goes to and I think we got the notice about his school at like 8, 830. So they were really holding off until the last minute. It was supposed to be sleeting and raining and doing all kinds of stuff at four o'clock this afternoon, but at my house, it didn't really do a whole lot. I know at midnight, it's supposed to start again and it's supposed to go through noon tomorrow but we're not supposed to get above, I think it was 35 was the high for tomorrow. So it's still gonna be pretty cold and some stuff might melt a little bit, but then it's supposed to get cold again tomorrow night. So it'll be nice slippery sliding around for driving on Friday if, they, if we don't have like a late start. which that would be nice. I mean, I don't expect to have two days off, but it would be nice to have a late start on Friday, especially if the roads are still kind of icy. I am from Colorado and I mean, I know how to drive in snow, but ice is totally different. And then you get these people that have four wheel drives and they think they can drive through anything. Well, five minutes down the road, they're in the ditch, because no, you can't drive through anything. Um, I'm gonna wait to put the sticker on. So I've seen many, many trucks with four wheel drive in the ditch. But, um, I think what I'm gonna do, because Easy Whim is not ever, it's somewhat in order, but it's not completely in order, so I think I will find my sticker for the bag that is in front of me. That way it will go a little bit faster. And I don't have to search through the bags. I'm sorry, my cat is messing with my tripod. Chloe, stop. Chloe. Okay, maybe she might be going to find somewhere to settle down. So these containers fit quite a bit. Um, I haven't done quite a test yet to see exactly how much they'll fit, but I think they'll fit like three quarters of the amount of the lockables, which is, that's still a good amount. Chloe, I'm going to put you out. 
she wanted in here so bad and now she's messing with everything underneath my chair and table. So apologies for any noise that you hear from the cat. But I mean a real life person with real life issues, I guess. Animals, children, spouses, all that good stuff. <laughs> they don't care that I'm recording a video. for tomorrow. I think we're supposed to have a decent day on Friday, but then we're supposed to have freezing rains again on Saturday. But after Saturday, I think that'll be it for us here in Texas from for bad weather. I think we'll be clear and good for the rest of the, until the end of the year, I guess I should say. We usually get our worst ice storms in February. Last year, on my Facebook memories, I had a memory pop up on the 18th saying, we have power and water, yay. So that was the day we went home last year because we had a, a storm that lasted three days. The first night we stayed home, our power was shutting off and coming back on, which, you know, we were fine. Well, we ran out real quick to go get something to heat up in the microwave for dinner, and when we got home, we didn't have any lights, and they never came back on. And so in the morning when we woke up, it was like, I don't know, 52 degrees in the house, and we're like, um... This is not gonna work for us. So we called my in-laws and they had still had, they had intermittent power as well, like every hour, but they were still, they still had power and they still had water because we didn't have water either. And so we made the trek over to their house and we ended up staying with them for two nights. So when we made it home, finally, my neighbor has a ring, Alexa ring, and it kept powering on and off for her the night before. So we could have went home the night before, but we didn't know, and we really didn't want a chance not having power and water. But that was, that was the worst storm I've ever been in in Texas. I've been in storms in Colorado, but Colorado is prepared for stuff like that. Yes, you might lose power, but not, not like we were doing. It was ridiculous that we were just not prepared for that. And it was sad because I really couldn't diamond paint. I diamond painted a little, but I read some and just hung out with his mom and dad and I went home. We actually went to Windstar the following day because we had a free room. So we thought, well, let's go ahead and take advantage of this free room. And when we went to the pool area, just to look out and walk, walk outside, um, all the, they have like a little waterfall and stuff and it was frozen and it was pretty cool looking. It was iced over everywhere. But that was a week ago last year. They were saying that this was supposed to compare to that, but I'm oh, pretty sure it's not going to get to be that bad. On Monday and Tuesday, we were in the 80s. Stop, Chloe. 
again, I apologize for the shaky camera. She will not stop. <laughs> I just looked up and noticed it was moving, so I apologize. happy to see that I have another easy win that came up. This is the second one in the last, I think this is number 16 in my Kidding Up series. So two and 16, not bad. I do like working on them. The canvases are really easy, easy to read, sticky. The drills usually are good. Sometimes I have really bad drills and like the darker colors, but for the most part, I know I did one painting. It was not in my subscription box. It just came from directly from, it was a replacement because I had gotten a duplicate paint, diamond painting. And that one I had to replace all of the 939s with what was in my stash. So luckily I had a decent stash of 939 because they were really bad. And I'm sure I could have contacted Easy Win and let them know that I had a bad batch of diamonds and they probably would have sent more. I've never had that issue so I'm not really sure how. But they do guarantee that their items, so I believe they would have sent me replacements but that was the worst I've had um, with easy whim I don't know if I mentioned it but I just and that well I did because it was I thought I pulled the number for it but if my February easy whim box was opened and I should be able to load that on my channel here soon. Might have to move something around. It was a decent box. Um, I My January box, if you haven't already viewed it, um, feel free to go and view that one. I was not too impressed. I wasn't too impressed with my January box. My February box was better. So I will probably go ahead and order again. I mean, I say I might stop, but I'm probably just going to continue ordering. It's been a part of my channel for a year now, so I think I might continue with it and until I just get something I just absolutely despise. January was just the crafting projects that I wouldn't do. So I feel like it is a waste of money, but we'll see. I need to figure out which box I really want to get. Because I do like the off canvas items. Um, and that's what I got this time. So maybe I have the right box chosen finally. I think if you choose their standard box, that's when you get other crafting items. But I think the box I chose this time, I can't remember the name of the box I chose, but I believe it was all diamond painting stuff. But then again, I had something that wasn't diamond painting, so I don't know. I'm confused. I just confused myself, so. Well, since these were pre-kitted, um, it did not take me near as long as it took me to kit up that Dreamer Designs one. So maybe I will get to do a second one. I'm not done, but I'm close. I'm getting close.
as of today, I have um, two of my Kidding Up series that have uploaded to the channel and are ready for viewing. One of them was one with me talking, one was time-lapsed with some music. Um, I was trying to get a feel for what people on the channel would like to have and so far I've only had one comment that that person really enjoys the longer kidding up videos with talking even if it is just rambling because that's what I do is ramble. I don't have a whole lot to talk about but I can ramble. Aggie didn't want to open. <clears throat> so, in one of my videos, I talked about having COVID, and I'm just curious if any of you have had COVID, did you um, lose your taste and smell? I personally. I, I talked about my symptoms, but this wasn't one I talked about, and I'm now I'm curious how many people have had this symptom, so I wanted to ask on the channel. I have had, like, this sweet taste in my mouth. It honestly feels like I am chewing chocolate gum all day, and I've had it since right before I got, like, the positive for COVID, so I believe it has something to do with COVID, so I'm just wondering, I mean, I, I guess I lost my appetite, not necessarily my taste, but now everything just tastes sweet, and it's kind of annoying. I love chocolate, but it's like, I don't really want to have that flavor in my mouth all day long, so I'm just wondering, did y'all have a flavor in your mouth while having COVID and how long after you, you know, were tested positive did that last? Because, man, I'd like to know what I'm in for here and if it's just going to go away in a couple weeks or if I'm stuck with this taste in my mouth for like months. Because it is really driving me crazy. When you're trying to eat something like had some hot beef, peppered beef jerky and it was sweet and I'm like that's not the flavor I was looking for. It does make you kind of want to not really eat food. So I guess that's where you get your loss of taste. But I was just curious again I don't get very political on my channel I just was wondering if anyone else had that experience and they had a taste in their mouth. All right, so we are complete with this. Um, let's see if I can move my chair. That took about 25 minutes. I'm going to put all this away, actually. I'm going to draw a number first. Um, I think I don't really know if there's any really great way to do this. We'll just have to see what I put in here next to it. And maybe I'll turn those the opposite direction so they're different. Because I have 10, 20, 25 left in here that I can use. Um, so I think right now I'm going to leave them where they are. sticker here. I need to find out what number I'm really on. Okay. So this was number 16.
All right. So I'm going to draw a number. and go find the ring and we'll get at least one more done in this video. All right, it is number 226. So I'm gonna push pause and go look for that one. Okay, so this is number 226 in my inventory. This is from Cluo Shop. I called it Wintery Scene. I had a difficult time choosing which storage I want to use because I have several that have, you know, some space left in them, but when I only had 17, when I have 25, when I have like 14, so I'm like, well, I don't want to use the 25 because then that would only leave me with five and that seems like a waste of that when there might be one that comes up with more numbers. So, I'm going to use this new one. It does have 30, 30, it has 30. So that leaves me with 12. So maybe I'll have a small special shape that'll come up that I can use the rest of these in. Um, I guess that's the only bad thing about the way I do my choosing is, I mean, I could just go and choose a diamond painting that I knew had 30 colors and kit it up, but that takes the fun out of it for me. This is how I have been doing my channel for a little bit. So, these were already pre-bagged as well. So maybe it won't take very long. Runaway drill. So like I said, until my printer cable comes in, I will still be cutting off the canvas um, to make my labels. In my last video, I thought I had some sticky residue left on one of my labels because I was at the end of my label stickers. But it's actually the sticky that is extra on the canvas because it's right here. I don't know why I didn't put two and two together when it came up and when I was talking about it that it was actually from the canvas and not my sticker maker. But I figured it out. <laughs> so I do try to get all the sticky residue off now before running it through. So this one is a 30 by 40, but um, I have a feeling it's not true to size. I'm having a hard time getting this sticky off of this one without rubbing off the actual DMC numbers. We're just going to leave it and hopefully... It won't cause, cause too much of an issue. think eventually I want to um, change the way I do my log book. I don't really like the option that I chose so I may do something differently here when probably won't do it till summer when I have a lot of time on my hands because I'll be out for school but I am looking to possibly switch it up a little bit. Let's see big this is. It is 35, 
25 by 35. I kind of figured that. So. I had just bought these um, little, they're called notes organizer from uh, Dollar Tree. So they're just a dollar, but I just don't like the way I started it and did it. So um, I don't know. We'll see if I change it or not. to be careful because it's starting to rub off the DMC numbers. So this is going to be number 17 and my kidding up process. I am putting a piece of scotch tape over that sticky just because I cannot get it all off and it's very annoying because when I go to pick up a container it sticks so it's just annoying. happy to get my printer working because then I can make the label pa the paper just a little bit bigger so I can see the symbols a little better because these are very small so I can actually blow it up to copy it I have the worst internet service here or else I would go on and like scan it and actually I may not need internet to do that I might try that but scan the the legend and maybe that way I could copy more at one time I did start making my labels as I was unboxing and organizing, at least with my Easy Win, which have the, eh, which already have the, um, whatchamacallits, you know, that stuff, the inventory <laughs> sheet. I did do an un boxing for this storage as well as the one that I just used on the other diamond painting. Um, I'm not really sure when it's going to be uploaded. It will be before this video so if you watch my videos in order as they come out then you have already seen it. If not you can go back and have a look at it. I did get them from Amazon. Um, they didn't have any other colors, but when I looked at it online, it didn't look as dark as they are. They looked a little more transparent, so that's the only flaw that I really see with this uh, containers is, I mean, you can't really see through them, but I don't really need to see through them to see the colors. I just need to be able to see my sticker on top and I can see them fine. So here we go. They are similar to a different style that I use. They're just a little bit bigger and they fit just a little bit more. I'm going to have to do the same way I did the other one. These are, I guess they are in order.
there just from 18 to 1. So I'm actually working on my first Cluo Shop diamond painting right now, and it is a square. And I'm actually really impressed with the quality of the drills. It's a mystery diamond painting, and I'm not very impressed with the actual diamond painting. It's cute, but it's definitely a hot mess painting. These are not all going to fit in here. Um, so, I have the dilemma. Do I want to use one more? I wonder if that'll... I think I'm going to... This is the only one that doesn't fit. I'm just going to leave the baggie in there with the extras because it closed. If I have more that don't fit, then I'll probably just go ahead and put them in another container. But anyhow, the squares from Cluo Shop, they're pretty good. I mean, I haven't had too many issues with them. The darker colors, just like I think any other company are not very good. I think that this weekend, I was going to go see my granddaughter, but we're supposed to have bad weather again Saturday, so I probably won't go be able to go see her. So I will probably diamond paint on my large diamond painting that I've spoke about before, my nightmare painting. Those drills in there are ridiculous. But I am making my way through the painting and I'm on about a third of it to go. And it is 90 by 90, so however much that is. But I think on Saturday, maybe Friday night, I'll, because I like to take my drafting table out into my living room, because I don't have a TV where it's at. That way I can watch some TV, diamond paint. Maybe drink some wine, continue on into Saturday, and maybe even do a little on Sunday. It would be really nice if we had a four-day weekend and we weren't able to go to work on Friday either. <laughs> I just don't think that's going to happen. When I covered this up with that tape, I now cannot read what the symbol is on this one. Looks like it's D. There we go. It just got a little too dark. Having a four day weekend is kind of wishful thinking. I think the best we're going to get is a a late start. This one's not going to fit in here. I know. So I lived in Texas until I was 16 and then I moved to Colorado well I think I can count on one hand how many weather days we had in Texas until I moved and then when I moved to Colorado I was thinking you know I was in high school so I thought oh we're gonna have lots of weather days no we did not my superintendent at my school was from Alaska so uh, he thought if he could drive to, to school, then everybody else could drive to school. So I remember going to school. I can't. I know we had a the, the, the a blizzard. I can't remember the exact year. It was like ninety six or ninety seven. 
and it had to have been a school day because my mom was at work and we had to go to school and it was snowing like crazy snowing on us walking through the outside to get to our classes and finally they let us leave at like half day but it was a really good sized blizzard happened my mom got stuck at work overnight and I just it was a crazy day but that's how it was in Colorado I mean I really don't remember having that many uh, snow days in Colorado my kids have had more snow days and their school days than I ever had. It's crazy. But, like I said, I don't really talk about anything. I just ramble. I just work for the school district now, so it's, it's nice because, I mean, I used to work at a movie theater and it snowed really bad and we still had to go to work. I mean, they let us leave early, but we still had to go to work. Our All of our doors were frozen shut. It took us forever to get into our cars. Um, it was crazy. So I'm glad I don't work there because they'd have made us go to work. Uh, so that one is complete. Let's see. Write my little notes here. That is number 17. I'm just going to leave it like that for right now and put the sticker on this side and let's see I'm going to go ahead and draw I have been 45 minutes so far um, I know when, when I have storage on my camera it kind of lets me do an hour and 15 minutes so I think I can get one more in on this one let's see it is number 106 so I'm gonna go grab that and I'll be right back all right so I'm excited for the one that I just drew um, it is this happy campers it's from you are best deals I'm trying to remember if I've completed a painting from them. I'd have to go through my my completions and see. So it's supposed to be a 30 by 40. It's a 24 by 34. But I'm very excited that this came up. And I will be working on it hopefully soon. I mean... Just because they're being kid up doesn't mean I'm going to get to them anytime soon because it is number 18. I really don't know how long it's going to take me to complete these to get to them and all of that. But And again, I mean, I have 20 colors. Any storage I use right now, it's pretty much um, the ones I currently have stuff in. I would have five left over. I kind of don't want to use that. I don't have enough for the, in that one. These have 28. I'm missing one, so it has 27. So that would leave seven. Would leave eight in here. Um, this new one I have has 32, so it would leave 12. I just don't know that I'd. Well, running out of storage here, but. We're gonna make it work. I've got a Harbor Freight container that I'm gonna go ahead and use. So, we will get down to it. And this one is square. Um, I have seen it in other places like on Amazon, but it was round. I'm having some difficulty here. Um, and I really do prefer 
square diamond paintings. So I'm, I was very happy to find this in square when I ordered from a new, I don't think I've ordered but once from this company. So I would definitely have to look through my stuff to see if I've completed a diamond painting with from them. So this one didn't have as much glue pushed over, so it's not really, this one's not bad. So the Harper Freight containers, they do um, have 24 in them, but they will hold 27. If you put them in, if you put them in this way, you can get an extra one in here where they usually have eight, but it'll hold nine. So you can actually get 27 in there. So it's nice if you have several of these containers and you need extras for one project, you can always add it. I guess I need to finish making my stickers before I get my drills out. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'd have to say Harbor Freight is my second favorite, second favorite containers to use. And I think my next favorite would be those new, well I haven't used them yet, but I think I'm gonna enjoy using them. This did not work. I didn't push on it so my sticky didn't go onto my sticker. There we go. But I think my new favorite, or new, my next favorite one would be the new ones that look like the Tic Tac ones, but they're double. Double Tic Tac container. <laughs> I think I'll enjoy using those. Because I don't mind the Tic Tac containers themselves. It's just they don't... Um, they don't fit a whole lot in there. Well, that could be another question that I ask you guys. What's your favorite container to use um, to, to kit up? I do know there's plenty of people out there that don't kit up, and that's great. I don't think I could do that. I did it on my first one, but after the first one, I was already watching YouTube videos looking for an easier way to do it rather than open that package and then I would tape it shut and then I'd have to untape it if I found another letter because I mean we all know you usually miss letters I didn't go in sections for the first one I'm pretty sure I did each letter 
and then moved on to the next one. I really am not positive. I don't remember. It was over a year ago. I don't think I knew to do it in sections though. Unless I started watching YouTube videos before I actually finished it and then I may have uh, decided to do it in sections because I probably saw somebody do it that way. And that's possible. I do not remember when I started watching YouTube videos. My first favorite would be, like I said, it's my lockables by Craftmates, the little purple notebook looking container. That is my first favorite. And then Harbor Freight would be the next one. And I think my new Tic Tac containers would be my next one. My least favorite is the small 28 counts that are connected. Those are my least favorite to use. It's a pretty color. So we do like to go camping and that was one of the reasons I purchased this diamond painting. We had bought a camper July of 2020. Um, the summer we first bought it, we went out a lot. Last year we lived in it. Well, this past summer we lived in it. Um, so hopefully we'll get to actually utilize it for camping again, maybe next summer. Let's see. And I just thought it was nice, a nice painting to maybe put up in the RV. My mom bought me a little heater because my furnace went out the last storm we had. And so she ended up buying me a heater on Amazon and this, I needed, I mean, I'm grateful she bought it for me because she just told me, well, I got that for you, but it, you probably won't get it in time for what your personal needs right now, but you'll have it for future needs. So I got to put that in my cold bedroom while I'm working on this stuff tonight and it works because now it's getting a little warm in here. So it's definitely a great little heater I'm very thankful that she bought it for me because it was freezing in here when I first got in here. It's like 22 degrees outside the last time I looked. I think we're supposed to get down to 9 degrees. out of things to say. I mean, that is so confusing when they do that. I don't, I don't pay attention to the numbers like I've said before, like after I kit it up. So it's number seven, but they labeled it number nine. So it's really confusing if you use your legend while you're diamond painting. I don't know how anyone does that. It would be so confusing for me. I would be placing the wrong color diamonds. All I ever pay attention to after I start a diamond painting is the symbol. Um, but 
I know there's many, many people out there that do it differently, and it would just be very confusing on this painting. So this package is pretty full, and then those containers I just used on that last one, this would not have fit in here. But it fit in here, perfect. I don't know, maybe I need to go buy me some more Harbor Freight. actually think I'm finished purchasing storage. Um, I need to complete some diamond paintings and then I will unkit. So I think I'm done purchasing storage though. Also, do you guys, um, do y'all have a table, how do you diamond paint? Do you have a drafting table? Do you sit in your couch? Or I do both. Most of my small diamond paintings, I sit in my recliner with a lap desk that reclines, or lifts, um, to take the, I've, I have to sit in my chair with the feet up, otherwise my back starts to hurt. So it works perfect for me to diamond paint in my recliner. It's comfortable. The larger ones that I have, I do on my drafting table, which is really nice as well because I can tilt that up and get myself almost straight up and down to where I'm not bending over and leaning over the diamond painting. But how about you guys, do you have a table, a special table or chair set up? I know my mom, I got her into diamond painting and when I first took the diamond painting over to her, uh, she was just sitting at her coffee table and like bending over and using a different table and just leaning over it and I just kept up telling her I don't know how you do that how do you do that and she finally bought a lap desk like mine and she's enjoying diamond painting a lot better I think it's helping her to do them a little bit quicker not like she's in a hurry to do them but it's just a lot more comfortable to be able to lean back or have it closer to you. I almost just made a big, huge mess. That almost just spilled everywhere. So that would not have been fun to pick up. Those miss the tray all together. Yeah. Alrighty. Two more, and then this one will be done, and I will have kitted up three diamond paintings tonight for a total of, what am I on? 18. 18 kitted up projects. Actually, I have 16. I'm on, I'm on the third one right now. So I've completed two and I have the third one out. So I have 15 completed, kitted up, ready to go when I get to them. Um, let's see. I had... Oh, there it is. 
had a bigger one. I wish I could find it. Gotta find some kind of use for these little tubes. Maybe they'll stay in place a little bit better. So there is that one. Why? Oh, I was like, why is this not sticky? I still had it on the paper. There we go. And this is number 18. So I will go ahead and end this video. I do hope that you guys enjoy these videos. Um, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and supporting the, my channel. I will be having a giveaway at 500 subscribers. Um, I'm getting closer. It feels like it's taking forever, but eventually we'll get there and I will be doing a giveaway. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, leave your questions, comments, suggestions, all of that in the comment section, and I will see you on the next one.